Mars may have been a paradise for life with liquid water, a stable climate, and the potential for evolution. But the red planet's secrets are yet to be fully uncovered. This was the general belief about Mars until something changed. The first James Webb telescope images and spectrometry of Mars were unveiled to the world on Monday, September 19th during the EuroPlanet Science Conference 2022. In 2022, on September 5th, JWST obtained pictures and measurements from around a million miles, 1.6 million kilometers, off Mars. Images of the red planet taken by the Satellite Observatory have proved helpful in studying transitory phenomena, including dust storms, weather patterns, and seasonal shifts. Photos from the telescope's near-infrared camera reveal an area of Mars in two different infrared wavelengths of colors. Have you ever stopped to wonder what it would be like to stand on the surface of Mars? While we may not yet have the technology to physically transport ourselves to the red planet, the James Webb Space Telescope has given us the next best thing, stunning images of Mars's surface and atmosphere. But capturing these images wasn't without its challenges. Mars is one of the brightest objects in the night sky visible to the naked eye and capable of emitting significant amounts of infrared light. This presented a unique challenge for the James Webb Telescope. Designed to pick up faint light from distant galaxies, the intense brightness of Mars was almost blinding for the sensitive instruments on board the telescope. Despite these obstacles, James Webb captured some truly remarkable images of Mars. Using a scientific method called spectroscopy, which studies objects and materials based on their color, we obtained a near-infrared spectrum of Mars. This allowed us to see the surface features of Mars in shorter wavelengths, as well as the thermal emission of light emitted as the planet loses heat in longer wavelengths. So, join us on a journey to the Red Planet as we explore the incredible images of Mars captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. From craters and dust layers to the mysteries of Mars' atmosphere, there is no limit to what we can discover about our neighboring planet. Some scientists believe that microorganisms could have existed on Mars because of the planet's history of having liquid water on its surface. Still, no one has found any proof that life ever existed on Mars. Multiple missions have been conducted to Mars recently to investigate the possibility of present-day microbial life. These probes have uncovered proof that Mars once boasted a more habitable climate, complete with liquid on the surface of the planet and a denser atmosphere. The planet's surface is now cold, dry, and stony due to its exposure to the sun's tremendous radiation. Despite these obstacles, some researchers maintain that microorganisms could persist on Mars, perhaps in underground caverns or other protected places. JWST diagrams depict the Mars area seen by the telescope in two different infrared wavelengths at many angles. We see at 2.1 microns similar to what we may see at optical wavelengths since the imagery is characterized by sunlight bouncing off Mars's surface. Image brightness is highest where the sun is virtually in direct line with Mars, indicating that heat radiation from the Martian atmosphere dominates the image at 4.3 microns. On average, this is where a planet's atmosphere is the warmest. Yet not all infrared light at this wavelength comes from heat. Near the bottom right of the sharpest patch in this wavelength, a dark smear can be observed. A feature on the Martian surface causes this. Hellas Planitia is one of the deepest craters in the solar system and on Mars. It is a massive impact basin. Light is absorbed by the 96% carbon dioxide in Mars' atmosphere. The Hellas Planitia region has a denser atmosphere, which is apparent at infrared wavelengths. This is actually not a thermal effect of Hellas, explains Geronimo Villanueva, an astronomer at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and the study's principal investigator, about the observations conceived by the agency. The Hellas Basin is a lower altitude and thus experiences higher air pressure. That higher pressure suppresses the thermal emission at the particular wavelength range 4.1 to 4.4 microns due to an effect called pressure broadening. It will be very interesting to tease apart these competing effects in these data. 
When he says near-infrared spectrum, he's talking about how specific wavelengths of light are attenuated or enhanced by the absorption and re-emission of light by particular molecules on Mars, revealing a finer, more precise breakdown of the makeup of the planet's atmosphere and surface. This telescope may detect trace gases like hydrogen, chloride, methane, and other chemical compounds in the Martian atmosphere. Methane is an indicator of past life on Mars, but its detection has been difficult using existing tools. Now, researchers are hoping that Webb may be helpful in mapping out different parts of Mars. The big conundrum has been that the rovers on the surface and the observational data have left a gap between 0 and 10 kilometers. Guiliano Luisi, the project's principal investigator, an atmospheric spectroscopist, was quoted as saying at a news briefing by Robert Lee of Space.com. Now we have James Webb. We can see the full column of the atmosphere all the way to the surface where the rover is. So we've provided a new way to solve this conundrum. The current data and photographs are only the beginning. While more observations are needed to understand Mars fully, the data we have so far provides tantalizing clues as to the red planet's makeup. Louisa also thinks the James Webb Telescope will help settle the debate over whether or not there was once life on Mars because methane has been detected there. Imaging a nearby object with JWST is a challenge designed to pick up the incredibly faint light emitted by the furthest objects in the universe. This space telescope is the most powerful one ever sent into orbit. Mars is a raging inferno in comparison to these places. The scientists making the observations and analyzing the data had to use methods to adjust for the oversaturation that would typically arise from this brightness. Since the exposure times were so brief, the data analysis had to be modified. The calculations and researches the JWST has made on Mars indicate that life may exist on the Red Planet. With the images, scientists believe it's possible to map out the genetic composition of Mars. Mars has had more missions sent to it compared to any other planet in the solar system. Six active spacecraft are now orbiting it, and two rovers slowly make their way across its surface. Webb has several features that are ideally suited for such close-up missions. Webb's capacity to capture Mars' whole disk in a single image is a significant strength. On the other hand, orbiters need time to create a complete map and are thus susceptible to daily variations, whereas rovers can only assess a single site. Additionally, unlike ground-based studies on Earth, which are hindered by atmospheric interference, Webb has an excellent spectral resolution the capacity to measure minute variations in wavelengths of light. Webb is designed to be able to detect extremely faint and distant targets, but Mars is bright and close. The majority of Mars' water is frozen, although there is still a chance that liquid water exists in aquifers below the surface. Possibly, even life exists within these storage facilities, in 2003, scientists found methane in Mars' atmosphere, lending credence to this fascinating theory. Methane may be produced by bacteria or formed naturally through geological processes. New information from Webb may shed light on the source of these methane plumes. Very importantly, observations of Mars will also test Webb's capability in tracking moving objects across the sky, which is of key importance when investigating our solar system. Webb's Solar System Program Coordinator Stephanie Malam, who works for NASA at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, explained. As more missions are prepared by researchers observing the JWST, there's no doubt we may have more to discover about the Red Planet shortly. Without bias, we can continue to trust the images captured by the JWST as more precise indicators of what can be found on Mars. The JWST is equipped with the necessary imaging tech to bring Mars closer to us than before. With Webb, we can obtain a real and accurate measurement of the ratio of H2O to HDO across Mars, permitting us to determine how much water was truly lost. We also can determine how water is exchanged between polar ice, the atmosphere, and the soil. And eventually, one day, we will stand on the planet with our own two feet.